Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at problem number 1389, create the target array in the given order. But before we begin with the actual solution, let me remind you of the Edignite NGO Discord server. This server has been created for computer science enthusiasts or people who want to excel their career in the IT field. Okay, so over here you can ask your doubts and discuss topics related to IT field. Additionally, Sir will also post some regular content, some useful contents and updates from the uh, topics related to the same sectors. So, if you are a computer science enthusiast or as I said earlier, if you want to excel in the career in computer science or IT field, then do join the server from the link given in the description below. Do share this link with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation. And yes, this all the solutions, all the solutions of the lead code problem as you can see over here will be given over here. Okay, so there are several solutions. Okay, there are several uh, solutions to several problems given on the same discord server. So do join the discord server from the link given in the description below. So now let us create an array. Okay. So initially target array is empty. Let me just move to whiteboard and over here let us uh, let us read the question. Okay. So initially the target array we will create a target array that is empty. Okay. So let the target array be answer or ans. Okay. Then we need to read. Okay. We have given we have been given two arrays over here nums and index. Okay. So we need read nums i and index i and then insert at index i the value nums i in the target array okay so this problem is very much similar okay it is not exactly the same problem but very much similar to the problem one of the problems that we have discussed earlier okay and now repeat the previous steps okay we need to repeat the previous steps until there are no elements to be read in nums and index okay so as uh, there is array there should be a loop right so let us let us now move to an example okay over here uh, the nums array has 0 1 2 3 4 okay so 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay and the index array has 0 1 2 2 1 okay so the index array has 0 then it has 1, then it has 2, 2 and 1. Okay, initially the target array is empty. Okay, initially the target array is empty. So for what we can do is we can just create this array. Okay, we can create this array with indices 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, and then we can insert one where elements one by one. Okay, so first of all 0 is matched with 0. Actually, uh, as the array is empty, we need to insert at this index itself. Okay, so we will insert 0 over here. Now 1 will be at 1. Okay, so 1 will be at 1. Let me just erase this and do this. 1 will be at 1. So 1, then 2 will be at 2. Okay, 2 will be at 2. And now 3 is at 2. Okay, 3 should be inserted at index 2. So, what about this 2? This 2 will be shifted. Okay, it will obviously be shifted. So, let me shift this 2 over here. Okay, 2 over here and then insert 3 over here. Okay, now similarly, I need to insert. Okay, I need to do the same thing for 4. Okay, 4 should be inserted at 1. 4 should be inserted at 1. So, over here, over here, we need to shift 2, 3 and 1. So, over here, we need to shift 2. Okay. We need to shift 2. Then, we need to shift 3. Okay. Then, we need to shift 3 and then we need to shift 1. Okay. And in this place, at index 1, at index 1, we will insert 4. Okay. So, this is our target array 0, 4, 1, 3, 2. Okay, this is our target array and we need to 
return this particular array we need to return this particular array so how we are going to do it okay over here we will use vectors as well as we will use uh, iterators in c++ okay so let us say that we have a for loop okay i am writing i am only writing the pseudo code and not the actual c++ code okay so let me just write a for loop okay for loop that will run okay for i equal to 0 to we can say nums dot size okay so let me just write n over here i equal to 0 to n okay it will run from i equal to 0 to n okay now if uh, answer is empty okay if answer is empty okay e m p t y if answer is empty then we need to push obviously we need to push the nums of i into answer so we will write answer push nums of i okay nums of i okay so we need to push it and now else part okay if the answer is not empty if the answer is not empty if there's already one one or more elements in the target array then we need to insert the elements in the index that is specified in index of i okay so else else part in else part first of all we need to create an iterator okay so we will initialize the iterator the way of initializing iterator over here i will just write it okay we will look at the way of initializing iterator when we see the code that is in the later part of this lecture okay and over here we will insert into our answer okay so we will just write a n s we will write a n s dot i n s e r t insert okay a n s dot i n s e r t insert now what is to be inserted over here let us see what is to be inserted okay what is to be written inside the insert function okay so suppose we have a vector okay suppose we have a, a vector over here so this is the vector and this is a, a long vector okay so this here we have zero then then you can say that we have two then we have four and so on okay so over here over here when we when i write iterator okay when i initialize the iterator iterator isn't pointing to anything okay it's not pointing to any element in the vector or to any vector or to any variable okay now i want to point my iterator to the beginning of uh, of the vector okay so what i will do is i will just write it equal to it equal to over here the name of the vector is answer so i will just write ans okay ans dot begin ans dot begin and now our iterator will point at the beginning at the beginning of at the beginning of our vector okay now what if i increase the value of iterator what if i do it equal to it it plus one it equal to it plus one the arrow would be shifted over here okay when i do plus one the arrow will be shifted over here so let me just shift the arrow the whole arrow over here okay now if i do it plus two then it will be shifted over here okay it will be shifted at index number two okay now what if i want to insert at index number two i want to insert three okay so four will be shifted okay all the elements that are succeeding four four as well as all the elements that are succeeding four will be shifted okay one place afterwards and three will be inserted over here three will be inserted over here okay so this is uh, the mechanism of insert method okay so what we need to do is what we need to do is we need to insert okay we need to first of all we will write iterator okay first of all we will initialize the iterator and then after initializing the iterator we will we will just write it equal to it equal to ans dot begin okay it equal to ans dot begin i need to okay we need to 
actually initialize the iterator as well as as well as we need to initialize it okay we, will, we need to point it to the beginning every time we insert okay every time we make an insert operation why because what happens is whenever we insert an element into the array the array becomes larger right array becomes larger or the vector becomes larger so the vector that was in the original or older heap memory over there it will get erased and it will be shifted to another memory location okay to a larger memory location but iterator will still point okay iterator if it's uh, not initialized okay reinitialized or uh, or we can we can say that it is not updated then it will point the same heap memory location that has been freed and over there you will get the heap overflow error okay it will be a runtime error so over here we will write answer dot insert okay answer dot insert and then we will write it plus it plus what we need to insert okay where we need to insert we need to insert at index of i index of index of i so if it is it's zero then it will be inserted at beginning okay it plus zero is equal to it it plus one is it will shift one place from the beginning okay so it plus index of i and what we need to insert over there over there we need to insert nums of i over there we need to insert nums of i and then close it okay we need to close the else part okay so let me close the else part and over here let me just erase all these things so that you just don't get confused okay so i have erased all most of the things okay so else part we have closed the else loop okay and now let me close the for loop and after closing the for loop we will return answer okay so i will just write ret answer ret answer okay so this is the whole code okay first of all we need to run the for loop okay first of all we need to check if the answer is empty if it if it's empty then we need to push the first element and if it's not empty then we need to update the value of iterator first we need to point our iterator to the beginning of the vector and then we need to run okay we need to execute the insert operation after executing the insert operation for n number of times okay till the end we need to return the answer now let us move to lead code and code the same part okay so over here we will move to the lead code and then over here we will code our solution okay so let me just write vector vector int okay vector int vector int ans so we have initialized ans and now we will run a for loop okay for int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 i less than nums dot size nums dot size is size any size okay i plus plus i plus plus so i plus plus and now we will write if nums sorry ans okay ans dot empty if the answer array is empty or answer vector actually is empty then ans dot push underscore back push underscore back push back nums of i nums of i okay nums of i else we will look at the else part so let us look at the else part else now this is the way of initializing an iterator okay so let me just move over here okay so std then we will write vector okay we will write vector and the vector is of integer type it it will be it is of integer type so we need to create an iterator that will point over the elements of a vector that contains integer values okay iterator iterator and the name of the iterator will be it okay now we will just write it equal to it equal to answer dot begin answer dot begin okay so we will begin our uh, iterator and then then what we will do is we will we will just insert it so we will write ans dot insert insert we need to insert at it plus index of index of i it plus index of i and we need to over there
there we need to insert nums of i okay we need to insert nums of i now let us return the answer vector okay return the answer vector so this is the whole code let us run the code and see if we get any errors or if it's a success okay so you see that it has been accepted the solution has been accepted now let us submit the code okay and you see it's a it's a success okay so this was about this was about the solution of create target array in given order that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone